This video will show you how to effectively file Outlook email messages and manage your inbox using TechHit Simply File. Do you find that despite your best effort your inbox keeps growing? Or that you are spending too much time filing Outlook email? If you are using drag and drop to file your email, you know how tedious and labor-intensive that process is. You have to expand the folder tree. Find the right folder. Pick up the message. Drag and drop it over into the folder. And don't you just hate it when it drops into the wrong folder? Is there a better way? There definitely is. Simply Files AI powered algorithm gives you folder predictions for each message. To file a message to that folder, all it takes is just one click. The rest of this video will show how Simply File can save you a ton of time and keep your inbox in tip top shape. The three buttons on the left of the Simply File ribbon area are called one click file buttons. As you move between messages, Simply File will show folder predictions relevant to each message. To file a message to that folder, all you need to do is click the button. Message gets filed. Click. 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 And all your email is neatly filed. Pretty cool, isn't it? If you go a bit too quickly and make a mistake, you can click on Do File to move the messages back then refile them. There are many other great features in Simply File. I will give you a taste of a few of them here. File Sender. Select one message. Click File Sender. Simply File will file all messages from the same person in one shot. File Thread. This is similar to File Sender. It files all messages in the same conversation with one click. Batch File. Select a group of messages you would like to file. Click Batch File. Simply File will show you folder predictions for all selected messages. They will be spot on most of the time. If you do need to change a folder, you can right click on a message and change the folder in place. Glance through the list, make sure everything looks good. Then click File Messages. All messages are filed into their respective folders in one fell swoop. Batch File is a great way to clean up your inbox after you have been away for a bit, whether it is just for a few hours or after a vacation. It also works great on your sent items, if you are not using the send and file feature described a bit later. You can see a list of the messages you have filed by clicking, more. Show filing history. Right-clicking on a message gives you options to open it or navigate to the folder. This list is also a great way to remind yourself of everything you have worked on, if you need to fill out a time report or bill clients for you time. Another great feature is Quick Pick. It shows you a list of all your folders, every single one. Even though all folders are right in front of you, try to resist the urge to scroll through the list looking for a folder. There is a much better way. Type a few letters of the folder name. The folder list will be filtered to only show matching folders. If there are still more than a few, you can hit a space and type a few more letters. This way you quickly zoom in on the right folder, even if you start with a huge list. This mechanism of finding a folder by typing several fragments of its name or path is called type ahead. It is very powerful. You can use it in many different contexts. I suggest that you practice it a few times. Please feel free to pause the video and experiment with your own folders. After you find the right folder, you can file messages to that folder by clicking file. Navigate to that folder by clicking go to folder. File and go at the same time. Or invoke one of the other commands under the More Actions drop down. Jumping between folders is something most users do many times a day. I personally use the Go to Folder button in the Quick Pick window. If you prefer, you can add a dedicated Go to Folder button to the ribbon. Which buttons are visible is controlled on the UI tab of the Options window.
Simply File also supports filing sent messages. After you click Send, Simply File will display the Send and File window. The right folder will likely be pre selected. If not, you can type a few letters to find the folder, then click Send and File to file the message you are sending to that folder. Or you can click Send, File and File Original to file both the message you are replying to and the one you are sending with one click. If you would like to keep copies of sent messages in the Sent Items folder in addition to filing them in another folder, you can enable that feature in the Options window. Click More. Options. Then check the corresponding checkbox on the Filing tab. Alternatively, if you prefer that Simply File does not prompt you to file sent messages, you can turn off the prompt here. If you are just starting to use Simply File, you might see Select Folder instead of Folder Names on the One Click File buttons. This happens when Simply File has not learned about the way you organize your mailbox. The best thing to do in this case is to run Train Simply File. Click More. Train Simply File. If your filing folders are not in your primary mailbox, click Select Folder to select the root of your filing hierarchy. Then click Start Training. This only needs to be done once. It takes just a few minutes and means that you will get very good accuracy right from the start. Alternatively, you can click Select Folder. This opens the Quick Pick window, which you can use to find the folder and file the message. Every time you do that, Simply File learns from your actions. The more you use Simply File, the smarter it gets. Folder prediction accuracy will keep improving. And, of course, all email processing and folder prediction is done locally on your computer. Simply File does not send your email data to the cloud. TechHit does not have access to your email. Simply File has many other great features, such as Task It, Schedule It, Snooze It, Mailbox Cleanup, Reply with Attachments, and much more. You can learn more about them and download Simply File on our website, or by following the link in the description of this video.